Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to reload your weapons in Doom. Now, obviously, Doom does not have a reload mechanic, so you have to program it in here. Alright, now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up um, how to get your weapons to reload after they ex um, extinguish all their ammo. <clears throat> now, there's no button for that in here, but there is a way around that. So, here's what we got to do. your input. Unpressed. Grab a timer. Then on released. It'll pause it. Okay. And then what we do with these, we set them for the fire button. There we go. And what this will do is that when we hold the trigger down, the timer will start. When we let go of the trigger, the timer will stop. Okay? We push trigger, we push trigger down again, the timer will go down again. Okay? So now we need to set this up for the right amount. We're going to set this for four seconds, which I believe is the perfect round off time. I'll leave it on true so we can see it. And we're going to set up a certain weapon for us real quick. Spawn. Go to backpack. And we're going to use the assault rifle. We'll use this one. We're also going to modify our ammo a little bit. We're going to knock it down to about 25%, which is about 30 rounds. We want that because that's the average assault rifle. Ammo. Okay. Now, I'm not going to reload it yet. I'm going to show you that 4 seconds is about the butter zone for assault rifles. So, when you run out of ammo, that'll be about the exact same amount of time. I'll also show you that the mechanic works. Okay, now watch the timer as I pull the trigger. like that. I'm out of ammo. It started again because I pulled the trigger down again, but as you can see, we're all out right exactly around that time. Now we got to make it reload the gun. Okay. You're going to have to experiment with that with different weapons, by the way. So keep that in mind. Okay, so when timer finishes... Give ammo... And we're going to set it for bullets, and we're going to give the exact amount of 30, just to be safe. Okay. So now when my gun runs out of ammo, shortly after that, it'll reload. There we go. Now we go. So <clears throat> there's that. Okay. So now we can reload the gun. It's a little iffy, but we can still do it. So we're already off to a good start. Now we gotta set up a timer for the reload animation basically. So there is no reload animation, but we're going to make it look like there is a one. Okay, so we're going to have another timer. Start this. We're going to make this about, yeah, about two seconds. Turn that off. Now 
So we'll do that, and we'll have it reset this. Okay. So now, when our uh, timer runs out, it'll run another timer for the reload animation. And then, <clears throat> when that timer is up, it'll reset the old timer and we can keep going. Which allows it to hold the trigger down and just keep firing over and over again. Okay, so we got that. Okay, now we gotta add a sound effect to that. Here's how we do that. We do another timer. We're using the timers, we're gonna be using a lot of these. And let's knock this down to about, eh, about 0.2, that's good enough. And when this goes off, we're going to do a sound effect. Now we'll do the load sound, that's good enough. This will technically be a reloading. And when this is done, we'll do it over and over again. And then when this is done, It'll pause this. So now, we fire our gun off. It'll do a reload sound effect. Let you know that it's reloading. Okay, so now we got a reload sound, we got a reload animation. We're good to go so far. <clears throat> okay, now we have to have a button prompt for all that. Let's go ahead and move this back a bit. That's good enough for us. Okay, so. Go ahead, let's get our controller out. I'm pressed, we don't need a release, so we're good for that. And we're gonna set this to user input one, which is the X button. We gotta make it take away our ammo, so that it looks like we're reloading. All is good enough. Also need to reset this timer, and that should be it. Now we fire our gun off. Push the button. And there you go. So now we can reel it our a weapon manually. That's what you want.
Now there's a bonus here, which you want to do if you want to uh, make it more accurate. Just set this up so it'll disable this, and then when this is finished, it'll re-enable it again. So you just do that if you want to do that. Now if you want to make sure that it's more precise. So now we can do that. But let's say you want to have an ammo count uh, in reserve. Okay, we could do that too. What we need to do is get rid of that. And we need to get rid of this. And this. And this. Okay. We need a resource. You could use an integer, but I recommend a resource. I'll spend that. Once spend succeeded, it'll start the whole process. I'll do that. And then I'll take away whatever. No, not that one. Oops, wrong one. Not that, not that. This too. And if this is finished, it also needs to go to that. Oh, oops, no, it's been tapped. Forgot about that. Okay. So now we got ammo in reserve. Let's set this up too. Let's make this zero so we got a low number. And let's, let's give ourselves about, about 60 rounds. Okay. This will spend about 30. It's 30 to fill back up. This will allow us to have uh, ammo on reserve. Next, we got to set up HUD settings so we can see our ammo count. And we're going to go to here variable ammo. Select our resource. So now we can see an indication of our reserve ammo. So I got 60 rounds up there, so now... It won't reload. See that? So now you can have ammo reserve, and now you can actually have your own magazines there. If you want to pick up ammo along the way, there's a couple of ways you could do that. Um, usually, I would recommend these because they're a lot easier to set up. Because here you can just go down to ammo packs and you can set up how many. Um, I don't remember how many it gives you uh, total, so we'll just say about five, I think. We'll just say that to be fair. Oh no, wait, no, 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 we don't want that, no. You want, to, you want to set to zero. I'm sorry. You want to set to zero. I'm picked up. It will add to this. That's what you want to do. And we'll see. You make it about 30. Okay. And these you can turn anything you want. You can actually go here and you can turn them into all kinds of stuff. You can turn them into this. Power tool. That. Briefcase. Bottle. Phone. Ranch. So you can find something that can make it look like ammo. That right there. Or gold bars with the whole bag. <clears throat> so you can actually uh, give yourself something that makes it look like it's got ammo in it or something like that. We'll just say this thing. So now when I pick that up, 
it'll add to my ammo count. So now when I pick that up, add it ammo to my ammo count. Okay, so there you go. And that's how you set that up. Now there are some drawbacks to this. I'm going to go over those in a second. Okay, first drawback is that you can't really use normal ammo. Because the problem with that, this box of bullets here, is that it goes down to one so and you still gotta set it up anyway so I don't really recommend that if you want to use it go ahead but it's not exactly a good idea especially if you want custom ammo in here which is what we're talking about so get rid of that that's one problem the next problem is that you can only do this with one weapon at a time and for example um, you only have one weapon in your slot. And it can be any gun. As long as you set up the ammo properly for it, you can do it. But you can't have two guns in here because, or more than that, because what it'll do is that it'll wipe out all the ammo from all your weapons. Um, especially if you want the button mod. And yeah, it's, it's a pain in the neck because it wipes all your weapons and then when it fills back up again, it goes to your weapon that you're currently holding, not the one that you want to use. So that's a drawback to this. Yeah, you can use it with one gun. Because um, there's no system in place right now, at least not that I'm aware of, that can actually do it per weapon. You could use filters, I've tried that, but they're a bit iffy. They don't always work. Um, and that's a problem. So, if you can figure out a way to get it to work with each individual weapon, you can have more than one in your inventory, go right ahead and give it your best shot. You're more than welcome to give it a, give it a try. Um, I mean, I've done a lot of testing with that, and I could not get it to work right. I tried. I could not get it to work properly. So with that being said, hope you all found this helpful, and you all take care.